I could not believe my ears when I saw the video of Keir Starmer today attacking the Bangladeshi community. Not once, but twice. People coming from countries like Bangladesh are not being removed. Bangladesh. They will go back. They will go back to the countries where people come from. He attacked them by name. What did the Bangladeshis do? Other than loyally support Labour, generation after generation, only to see themselves on TV being spoken about as if they were illegal aliens arriving on the beach on the south coast. The Bengalis are the hardest working people in Britain, working till two o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning they get home. The people in the kitchens, waiting on the tables. They've built a multi-billion pound industry in Britain. They've made more contribution to the economy of Britain. Head for head, of any population in Britain, and then they're getting attacked. People coming from countries like Bangladesh are not being removed. As if they were some kind of dirt that we have to sweep off our doorstep. Keir Starmer committed political suicide with the Bengali community in his statements yesterday. And I hope, I echo the point, no self-respecting person of Bangladeshi origin could possibly give a vote to Labour in any constituency after what has just been done to them by Akira Starmer. I say in parentheses, I know most of you are not from there, but when I'm showing visitors around Parliament, I always make this point. When Britain arrived in Bengal, it was the richest place in the world. When Britain left Bengal, it was the poorest place in the world. And you don't have to be Einstein to work out what happened in between. The British owe the people of Bangladesh big time. And the fact that instead of repaying that loyalty, they were subjected to that foul racial attack. For that is what it was by Starmer is simply unforgivable. The countries where people come from. People coming from countries like Bangladesh are not being removed.